everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lily Maxwell. I'm an Australian Melbourne makeup artist and beauty therapist. I'm 20 years old and I like to do this for fun so I can give you guys tips and tricks and different ideas how to expand your makeup creativity. Now today's video is going to be two different how-tos on eyebrows and lips today. So based on your makeup look, if it's natural, if it's heavy eyes, it'll be accentuating the lips or natural lips. I'll be showing you different ways to do eyebrows as well. So again, based on your makeup look, um, if you want your eyebrows to look more natural or if your eyebrows want to be a little bit more on fleek, I'll be showing you how to do that today. Now today's video I have included for an intro for my videos. I will be including that intro for my videos from now on. I just thought I'd add something different just to give it more um, of a pop to my videos. Um, the person that created this lovely intro for me, her Instagram is outlinesxbecca. So if you would like an intro for your YouTube videos or if you're just starting out as a YouTuber, um, please give her a follow and please DM her if you want to um, start out an intro for your YouTube videos. Um, also, also thank you so much Becca for the intro, I really love it and here it is. So keep on watching if you want to see those how to's today. Okay so I've just zoomed you up nice and close and personal. Um, we're going to get started with the brows. I have already primed my face, sorry I'm look looking a little bit red um, at the moment. It's just a little bit hot in my room, so yeah, don't mind me being a little bit flushed. So, with brows, depending on your makeup look, if you are looking for full glam, uh, for like bridal looks, if you want something a little bit more natural, this eyebrow um, tutorial is just going to be a simple brow using a pomade, and the only three neat things you'll need is a simple wax pomade that is based on your eyebrow color. So as you can see, I have really naturally dark brows. I also do tint them as well. So if you are someone that maintains your brows quite a lot, I do suggest to, um, and if you don't, that's okay. You can use the pomade, which creates more of a defined shape if you don't really like to keep up your maintenance for your brows. Um, and the next two things you'll need is a flat angled end brush, quite small as well. Um, I like to keep this quite flat with a little bit of lash glue. It's a little bit of a tip out there for you people if you want that nice fine line to create that more defined eyebrow as well. And the last thing you'll need is a double end brush. One of them is the eyebrow brush and the other end is just a comb. I normally use that for my eyelashes, but I normally use this end of the brush today. So first of all, we normally like to start on the bottom. So I'll just brush my brows up. I normally like to do one brow first and then once I've done that first brow, I go ahead and do the other brow. So it kind of gives me an idea of how I want that next brow to look. So I'll just brush them up. And then grabbing your angled brush and your pomade as well. You don't want too much product. You just need to grab just a little bit like so. And it's really pigmented as well. I'll just show you. So from that much product I grabbed, that's pretty much how much you're gonna get. And that's gonna last you a few strokes as well when you're doing your brows. So I'll just grab a little bit more and I'm just going to start on the head of my brow and then I'm going to follow that line underneath and go all the way down and just I kind of like to stop here and then grab more product and then flick it all the way down if that makes sense. So just like so as you can see, oh my god my face is really red. So I just created that line underneath um, 
Now, as you can see, I have gone a little bit further down than normal in some places, just because I don't have that much hair there that needs to be covered. Um, so I'm going to grab a little bit more. And I normally like to do the top part of the tail first. So I'll start on the very peak of my brow. And just kind of draw that line down and bringing it in. Just like so. So you can kind of see I've kind of already got a nice defined tail already happening there. And then I'm going to draw a line from the head all the way in. And you can keep going to how much product you want and as you can see the colour is not as dark as my natural brow colour. So I'm going to grab some more product and I'm just going to fill in the rest of my brow. I like to start with this peak right here. And as you can see I'm just kind of making strokes in the direction of the hair growth. So as you can see I've got hairs here that are coming upwards so you want to stroke upward so it also looks natural at the same time. And you can work your way in as well if you need more of a um, head of the brow here. a little bit because I do like to have that ombre effect at the head of the brow there. And then I'll go in the bottom and then I'll just fill in the rest of the tail there. So that's pretty good. I like to give it more of an ombre effect at the head of the brow. Um, I don't really like it too blocked off so I just grab that brush end and I just start brushing a little bit of that product away. As you can see it gives it more of a faded look if that makes sense. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the other brow. Now my brows do look a little bit different as you can tell. This one raises up just a little bit more. Um, I've noticed sometimes in my videos that I do have a little bit of a lazy eye. So I think, I think it's this one. So with this eyebrow I normally like to um, get the peak just a little bit higher because as you can see this one's quite high. So I'll draw the line a little bit higher than this one and bring it down again. Um, and this one's looking a little bit fuller than this one. So again, I'll draw that line and I'll do it a little bit further down than that line I've already got there. So I'll just go ahead, grab some product and I'm going to go ahead and do that one. And I'll just speed you guys up so you can quickly get an idea of how I even up those brows.
so I'm pretty happy with how I did these brows. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with some concealer um, to give it more of a defined look and when I did this brow I probably gave it more of an angle on this peak. Um, as you can see that this one's a little bit more smoother and this one is kind of just a little bit more defined so I like how this one looks so I'm going to match this one to that other brow so grabbing some concealer I'm just using the P Louise base I think it works pretty well as a concealer so grabbing our flat this is a different flat angle brush a little bit bigger so you get more control and grabbing a little bit of that concealer I'm just going to go along the brow but I'm going to bring the concealer in just a little bit more just to smoothen it out as well. So as you can see, I smoothened that out nice and evenly. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Now that we've got more of a shape happening, I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing on the other side, but not bringing it down, just over the top so it's completely even as well. And then I'm going to go underneath I like to go thinly first right underneath where I drew that line and bring it to that other side and connect. And then I'll do that same thing on the other side. So now that we're happy with how this looks, I'm going to go ahead and prime the rest of my eye just because I've got leftover concealer there. Okay, so now that we have concealed our brows, I'm going to go ahead with my damp beauty blender and just blend that all out. So I've gone ahead and just blended that first eye just there. Um, as you can see, you don't really want to blend out that line too much because you want to give it that defined look again. And if you go ahead and blend out too much of what you've just um, done with your brows, then it's going to kind of mess it up. So just blending just very lightly, um, kind of just getting rid of that um, unblended concealer. So now that we've blended out our concealer on both of our brows, my eyes are ready to go for eyeshadow and lashes and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup and then I'll show you guys what I do with the rest of my brows and then I'll show you guys how to do lips as well. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've done the rest of my makeup, I know my lashes are looking a little bit extreme. I got myself some new lashes and I'm actually really loving them. I really like them. Um, they're super long. Um, I normally go with like something a little bit more less full but I decided to give myself a lash haul and I bought these and yeah they're really pretty but anyway um, 
Also, all the products that I use are in the description box, only for the products that I used in this video. Um, so go check them out if you are interested in any of the products that I use today. Um, so, now for the lips. Um, as you can see, I've gone with a natural eyeshadow but a big bold lash. So, based on your makeup look, if you're doing something that has a little bit more colour or bold like this look today, um, I suggest going with a natural um, nude lip. So, the lip that I'm going in with today, I'm going in with the Jeffree Star Lip Liner in the shade Leo. And the lipstick I'm going in with today is the Jeffree Star um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. So I think I like these two because this one is the shade of my natural lip colour. It looks dark but um, I do have a bit of foundation on so I'll go ahead and draw that on the outside of my lips and then I'll pop this on as well. Now this is a liquid lipstick so it will um, dry over time. It looks a little bit light at first but when it dries it's pretty much close to my natural lip colour. So that's pretty much the aim that I'm going for today as I've got a pretty bold light eye with my look today and a pretty bold brow. So again, based on your makeup look, if you've got something that's a natural eye, you could probably do like a bold red lip. If I had natural lashes on, I could probably do a red lip to draw my attention to my lips. But today, because the main attraction is my eyes today, I'm going to do a natural um, lip. Now again, if you are someone that likes to wear a little bit more colour on your eyes, I suggest not going with the same colour that's on your eyes. So say if you're wearing a pink eyeshadow look, try not to go in with something that's pink on the lips as well. It draws too much attention to both of them. If you want something to stand out most, it would be the eyes because you've got such a bold colour on the eyes. So you want something simple that's on the lips. Um, I see a lot of people these days that like to wear both colours on lips and the eyes and it just doesn't really work out. It looks a little bit funny, but that's up to you. You can do whatever you like with your makeup. Makeup is just creativity, makeup is art, makeup is whatever you want it to be. But I was taught that both the same um, colours on the eyes and the lips, it generally doesn't work out. So if your eyes are going to be the main attraction for any event, then the lips are going to be brought down just a little bit more. So again, because I've got big lashes, big eyeshadow and everything like that, I'm just going to go ahead and do a nude lip. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys up and then I'll show you guys how I draw my lips up. Okay, so we've got you all nice and close and personal once again. So I've got my lip liner here. I do not like to, this is, um, I think it's, I think you can sharpen it. I haven't sharpened it once yet before, but um, just so you get um, a nice clean line, I just like to warm up the liner on my hand first. So I just drew that line on my hand. So when you draw on your lip, it doesn't come out clumpy or uneven. Now before you do your lipstick, you want to make sure that your lips are nice and smooth and ready for that liquid lipstick as well. As they will dry, it won't stay um, shiny, It will, because it's a liquid lipstick, it will dry. So lip liner, I like to follow my natural lip line on the bottom and then I'll go over my cupid's bow first and then bring it down. And I also like to draw a line right in the middle and down the bottom as well. So. That's my cupid's bow there. And then I'll do the same on the bottom. And as you can see, I've just brought it all the way up. Now you don't want to kind of, I make weird faces with my lips, but you don't really want to draw around as such as that's gonna bring out your lips a lot more. So kind of just stop at that line there and then you can go on the top. And just bring it in. As I said, as I said before, you don't want to go around like that. You kind of just want to stop where the lines meet.
And as you can see, I'm kind of using my tongue to bring up my lip a little bit more so that you can do that as well. And I've just messed it up just a little bit. So what I like to do is grab my brush that has a little bit of product left and just draw down like so. So now that mistake is gone. Okay, so now that we've got the outline going, I'm going to draw a line straight down the middle on the top and on the bottom. So when I go ahead and put my lipstick on, it kind of gives it more to definition on the lips and it doesn't look too fake looking as in such. So I'll grab my liquid lipstick wipe a little bit of the excess off as it's quite pigmented and I'll just go ahead and fill in the rest of the gaps. Okay, so I'm really happy with how that looks. Um, as you can see, um, if I didn't draw those lines in the middle of my lips, um, it wouldn't look as defined, but as you can see, with that lip liner, it pretty much gives it more um, definition. I keep saying defined definition, but it's just, it's a good word to use um, when you're trying to describe things. So now that I've got a pretty good lip, um, both my eyes and my lip are matte, um, so because my main attraction is my eyes today, um, I don't want too much drawn um, to my lips, so I'm just going to leave it matte as it is. Um, if I did have more of a coloured look on my eye, I would probably put a gloss on top of my lips, but because today is more of a natural matte bronze look, um, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, now for the rest of my brows, well just to kind of finish it off, once you use like face powder and stuff like that, your brows tend to pick up that powder as in like when you're setting your face and it kind of discolors the brows. So you can go in with a brow gel. This is the Models Prefer Brow Serum and you can just go ahead and brush that lightly onto your brows. So it kind of gets rid of that powder that you used all over your face. It doesn't really make much of a difference, but for someone that has really dark brows, you can go ahead and use that um, because when I use a lot of face powder to set my foundation, my brows do tend to discolor and then I'll use that brow serum and then it's pretty much back to health. Alright and that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's how to on eyebrows and lips today. Um, I'm pretty happy with how the brows look. They're pretty much what I do every day. Um, I have started getting used to the hang of using soap brows, so if you want to see how I use soap brows and how I do my brows from that, please let me know um, and comment down below as well if you want to see that as well. The lips are pretty. Ha I'm pretty happy with. This is also kind of close to what I do every day. Um, if you have not seen my very first YouTube video, this is pretty much what I do in the video, but um, just without the rest of my makeup that I did. Um, so go ahead and watch that video and watch all my other videos as well. I don't have that many, so 
um, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and in the future I am thinking of doing a little bit something different so maybe next week I might do um, a full glam Halloween look let me know what you think comment down below as well if what you want to see for next week um, hit that subscribe button as well and please don't forget to follow my Instagram which is at Lily's Beauty Within with an underscore before the within and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next week bye